Hello everyone and welcome to a Sharpie Plus production. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play your Xbox Series X or S on your PC. Now this is going to be a quick tutorial. I'm not going to waste too much of your time. I just want to basically show you how to install and set it up because it's not the most obvious thing. Um, so first of all, open your internet browser. I'm using Firefox here. Um, we're going to want to go to a website uh, which is owned by Microsoft and uh, description I'll post it in the description below it is called store.rg-adguard.net as you can see this will bring up this website you want to go back into my description below and find the very long link uh, the Microsoft link it's the only one in there paste that in click the tick and you'll be presented with this page and now on this page you'll want to be looking for a particular application uh, it's around 325 megabytes and it will it should hopefully always have the last same uh, file extension so the easiest way to find it is do control F to bring up find in your web browser go into my description find that file name it starts with number 8 W E K Y and ends in dot app X bundle find that copy paste the whole thing post it into your find search and it should automatically highlight um, the file that you're looking for. This file has always been third from the bottom. It's always been around 325 megabytes and the only thing that's been changing a lot is the actual uh, version number which is these numbers before. So you literally just click click save file you want to save it to your uh, computer you don't want to open it by default because uh, you have to fiddle around with a few file extensions and other programs so save that then you want to go into your downloads folder so wherever you stored that file to mine's uh, here go to download folder okay cool so for a lot of you this here this Microsoft.Xbox game streaming dash content test file it will just be a white file and if you double click that nothing's going to happen it's going to say what program do you want to open it with that's the problem so you want to go back down into your uh, into my description again take that extension name the dot app x bundle you just want to right click rename and just add it onto the end so this is where it will look like i just posted this bit here so dot app x bundle click enter or return then yes as you can see it will now turn into a package installer so this is perfect this is what we need to install it but before we do that some of you will run into an issue where when you try and install it it won't let you that's because this is a developer application at the moment it's still in alpha slash beta so um, you know a lot of people won't be installing this publicly it's not open for public testing so to do this uh, to enable developer mode click the Windows key or start start typing in developer there you go and developer settings will be the top uh, result here just click now by default this will be off like this you want to just enable developer mode there'll be a warning just saying you know this could be dangerous it's security risk so enable it afterwards make sure to disable it obviously but while, while it's enabled just double click you'll be presented with this I've currently got it installed there'll be an install button here instead so just click install and then once that's installed it should automatically start running like this before we go ahead and carry on go back into your developer settings there turn off developer mode just to protect yourself because basically this developer um, mode just allows you to install a lot of crap that you don't want to install but yeah this is the app here so uh, once this is up if you are wired um, or on a wireless connection um, with your Xbox on the same network you'll be able your Xbox should automatically appear here for me it just appeared uh, I don't know maybe you have to go and turn your Xbox on in some cases mine's on standby so maybe that's why it uh, appeared automatically so just click your Xbox click continue and here we go you've probably seen this screen if you've used the mobile app because it's essentially at the moment very similar with a few minor differences can take a minute depending on your connection here we go perfect so Sharpie Puss is playing we can actually click here on three dots and toggle full screen just so you can see it better 
click back here awesome so you can actually use your keyboard to navigate around and they probably will add full keyboard support I'd imagine for a lot of these games because a lot of these games you can play on your PC anyway uh, for me I've got my Xbox controller you'll need to actually hook this up to your PC either by the wireless uh, if you've got the wireless Xbox dongle if you've got a USB cable you can shove it in um, I'm not sure if these ones have Bluetooth maybe they do I haven't tried luckily for me my Xbox isn't too far away it's just in the other room like over there so I can actually use this controller without any delay or anything uh, from here so as you can see I'm doing this um, I'll quickly just launch a game just so you can see the quality uh, you know it's it's not as going to be as good as playing it directly from your Xbox or uh, it's not going to be as good as playing it with a capture card because you are streaming it so but if you've got a solid internet connection then why not this could be really good like I mean for me it's pretty damn good my internet isn't the fastest my wireless because I'm on 5g 5 gigahertz wireless and well y you'll see it's there's a few like pixel pixelation pixelations every now and then um, and maybe like a, a frame drop every now and then but essentially it, it just feels like you're playing on the Xbox and it's very difficult to notice that you're streaming a lot of the time so uh, yeah so I, I am using so you saw there maybe a bit of pixelation as it just loads like as it processes everything same Welcome with the back, menus here we go so perfect this is me bit of delay there already so not showcasing it great so out we go onto the main road and this is it this is me streaming my xbox from oh gosh haven't played this game in a while it's a bit rusty but you can see like the quality is pretty decent on stream you know if you're playing if you're streaming at 720p there's a good chance people might not even notice that you're streaming it to be honest because like you know it's uh whoops sorry mate um, but yeah, this is essentially it. I don't want to waste too much time playing the game because you obviously want to go play your game. So that that was all I had. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy the app. And if you do take part, um, make sure to give feedback as well, like any kind of feedback. If maybe you want to see more resolution types, uh, more configuration, um, I don't know, streaming, OBS support, anything. Like, you know, Microsoft are really good and the Xbox team are really good at taking uh, feedback so yeah that's it um i hope this helps if you've got any questions just post them in the comments if you have any problems post them in the comments um i'll try and help as much as i can but obviously the more people who watch this video the more people can help out as well others who maybe run into any problems um but yeah anyway thanks for watching peace